So in my practice, when I see patients, I always recommend meditation as a universal potential um, treatment or symptom um, diminishing approach. So uh, meditation may be one method that all people might benefit from who have visual snow. And I, I don't say that lightly, and I know the importance of um, using terms like all or or using terms like never uh, because it really does vary with healthy lifestyle and exercise. We hear all sorts of different stories about how those impact people but with meditation we have both a physiologic reason to think that it may help visual snow as well as you know many years of experience and understanding of what meditation can do to the brain to know that generally you're not going to hurt yourself with meditation generally you're going to help and we have physiological reason to believe that decreasing uh, hyper metabolic activity of the brain that occurs uh, with visual snow may be helpful. So I think that would be the universal recommendation that I make to, to my patients. Um, it takes a lot of practice and it can't be something that they can just simply read about and be able to do on their own. It takes uh, quite a bit of time and effort to be able to meditate into a state that really does change brain function.